Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and over the past several weeks or maybe a couple of months I've been trying to help folks understand uh, LiPo batteries better. Uh, they're a spin-off from the space program and uh, they're an excellent battery for doing all the things we do with our Bebop uh, drones. But one of the things that you uh, need to understand is you don't just throw your Bebop battery away uh, because you can start fires with, they can start fires with them if they're in the garbage truck and get punctured. So what I've got is here is uh, several weeks ago my drone uh, had an accident and fell 200 feet to the ground and where it happened to land, it happened to land in such a way that it uh, broke the battery open. So I've taken the battery apart, the three cells, separated them, and um, now I'm going and I put them into a solution of salt water and uh, they've been sitting in that solution for about a week. So we're going to take a look at that and then we're going to open up the batteries, measure the voltage, see if there's any uh, voltage left. And then uh, if there is, I'm going to poke a hole in a battery and we'll see if, uh, if it uh, starts a fire because a fully charged battery will just burn, burn to pieces. So we'll go over here and we'll take a look down into the jar and you can see the three cells are in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the camera and uh, then go ahead and proceed here okay so first thing I'll do is let's see I'll be working from this side I guess first thing I'll do is I'm going to pour the the salt solution out here on the ground where we don't want anything to ever grow again and uh, we'll just get rid of it. And then I'll dump the cells out on the ground. And you'll notice they're swollen up and that's what happens to a battery uh, when, when it's damaged. So uh, we've got that. Um, there's one cell there. We've got him cleaned up. And uh, here's another cell. You'll notice there's the two uh, contacts there. Maybe we'll use him for a puncture wound. And uh, then there's these. Okay, I'm going to have to pause and go get some clip leads, which I forgot. So we'll be right back. Okay, we've got our voltmeter. And we're going to check our voltage. Looks like there's 0 0.08, 0 0.09 volts is all that's left. So they're pretty much discharged. So we'll take the wires off. And we'll see if they're safe. Get this out of the way. See if they're safe to allow a garbage truck to carry it. And if it gets poked, it's harmless. We're going to find out. And on a fully charged LiPo battery, by this point you'd see sparks flying and smoke coming up. So leaving them, uh, leaving your Bebop, bat you don't have to take it out of the case, just put it in a solution, a strong solution of salt water and let it sit for a week. And then you can toss it into the garbage and when the garbage truck picks it up, if something pokes it, uh, there's not going to be a fire. You can look on the internet and you can find where they have poked uh, LiPo batteries and see the results of what happens. So, uh, I'll put a link also on how, uh, at the bottom in the description, how LiPo batteries are manufactured. That, that'll help you understand a little bit too. So, uh, I want to thank you for watching, and God bless you.